Hello denizens of week. my name is Clarence and I'm gonna be bringing you a not so short guide today. We are gonna be covering fishing. For some reason fishing is quite complex because there are two categories of fish and two categories of tools. We'll be going right into the categories of tools right now. We have the rods and the spears. To get the basic fishing rod and basic spear, we will be talking to Mark in the hometown of Ar Aresia. 50, 50 gold for the fishing rod, and once you hit level 15, you can buy the spear for 3,500 gold. Next, we have the fly fishing rod. It is quite pricey, surprisingly enough. 100,000 gold for it. I do recommend it, even though it costs so much. If you do think 100,000 gold is out of your limit, um, you can fight mushroom walkers. I will show you where those are in a minute. To get the fishing rod, you come to the Bobo port. And you talk to the sailor just down here, right here. Buy from him. And there it is. For 100,000 gold, you could buy it. If you think that's too much, you can go to uh, Lodo port. Make sure you have your armor and weapons. There's a chest up ahead. You have to kill these guys right here. Very easy to kill. Um, they have a 1 in 1,000 chance to drop it. Yeah, that is quite a bit, I imagine. But like I said, they are easy to kill. And there is a chest right here. And they drop food. Some yum mushrooms. So it's not that difficult. Next, we have the... Hardened, sorry, not the hardened, the, uh, just a frozen, frozen, <laughs> frozen spear, which we will be going to the Land of Ice. You kill ice dragons. It has a 1 in 200 drop chance. They are... They're pretty easy to kill. Go through the ice cave. Come up through the door up ahead. And just to the left are your ice dragons. Kill them until you get your ice spear. 1 in 200 chance. May take you a while, may not, depends on your luck. I'm just punching it, see, quite easy to kill. Okay. And for the final spear, or sorry, the spear, the rod, you could only craft it, or you could buy it from someone else. I do recommend buying it from someone else. They'll probably sell it to you around, I can't imagine, any more than 50,000 gold. It's quite easy to make. It does require 65 crafting to make. So, if you have 65 crafting, make it. If you don't, buy it from somebody. Um, yeah, then, for the Scorching Spear, or Flame Spear, that's what I like to call it, we are going to go back to the hometown of Aresia. And then into the Boneyard. Mmm, don't we all love the Boneyard? Lovely place. In the Boneyard, you have to kill Flaming Stags. Same as the Dragons, it's a 1 in 200 drop chance to get. Mmm, so, if you don't know about the Boneyard, if you die in there, you lose all your stuff, except your untradeables. Other players can attack you. It's it's not a fun place. I came here. I didn't have a great time trying to get the flame sphere. I actually did not die once because 
I was very safe. I did not take any risks. We come north into a house, not the house coming up, a house a little further up past the red dragons. Just about everything out here is out to kill you, so be careful. The flaming stags are, I'd say, moderately difficult to kill, so make sure you have plenty of food. And we come into this house right here. There are mummies up ahead. They will attack you if you're too close. Do not touch these chests. One of them will kill you. Just a heads up. And all the way to the right over here, we have the flaming stags. One in 200 drop chance to get the spear. Good luck. Once you get it, or if you give up, whatever happens. If you die, <laughs> just good luck. If you get it, teleport out. And finally, the tools are done. Now we can actually start fishing. Equip our level 1 basic fishing rod. And in our hometown of Aracia, there are plenty of fishing spots. Just fish. All the way to level 5, just catch these fish. Once you hit 5, we will be going to the Bobo Docks. Where we'll, we will we will be getting tuna. Okay, the tuna right here. From level 5 to 10, we will be doing this. Once we hit 10, we will be catching salmon. You can't really tell, you know, I guess you can. The thinner, slightly thinner fish are salmon, right next to the tuna right here. So catch these. From level 10 to 15, you'll be catching salmon. Once you hit 15, we will now be using our spear, our basic spear. Go down here. These are baby lobster. Catch these from 15 to 20. Once you hit 20, we will still use our spear. And just over here, you can't tell because they are the same. I don't know why, but these are lobsters. They are different. They're the slightly bigger variation. So from level 20 to 25, well not 25, to 30, you'll be fishing these. Once you hit 30, you will talk to the sailor. Go to Lodo Port and catch um, these squids. So from 30 to 35 squids, once you hit 35, we will be going to mana bugs. Oops. They are in this cave right here. Up in this little pool of water. Mana bugs. So from 35 to 40, you will be here. Mana bug. Once you hit 40, we will be going to Lily Island. Which you do need a quest to get there. Make sure you have your Lily Orb in your inventory. Enter the portal. And we are at Lily Island. Electric Eels, we will be using our... If you did get the Fly Fishing Rod, you'll use this. If not, you'll just use the basic one. To catch our eels. You cannot fish them from here. Just FYI. You have to be at the side of them. 
I don't know why that is. I guess it's just not close enough. Catch these from 40 to 45. Once you hit 45, we will be fishing flaming fish. This is where you use your flame spear. Come to the cave north up here. Northeast. Um, there are dragons in here. They are aggressive. They are very annoying if you're low level. And they are still annoying even at my level. So, um, if you do aggro them, they will stay aggro to you until you die. So I recommend just dying because they do get annoying or killing them if you can. Or just avoid them at all costs. They are very annoying. So we go in here. No dragons near us. That's good. Here are the f flaming fish. Stay away from that guy. Come here. And he's beelining right to... Oh, that's just lovely. There you go. Wonderful. Anyways, we have our flame fish here. From 45 to 50, we'll be here once we hit 50, which will be a very tedious time because of these stupid dragons. We will go up here once we hit 50. This is a members only place right here, FYI. So, yeah, I do recommend just getting membership. It, it'll increase your XP rates. It, it's just better overall. Anyways, come in here. Equip our fishing rod. And right here. These are rainbow fish. From 50 to 55, you'll be here. And at level 55, you will catch shark. Get out of this place. These mean dragons say goodbye to them. Equip our um, frozen spear if you do have it. And these are sharks. From 55 to 60, you will be here catching sharks. They're actually quite surprisingly easier to catch than the other ones. Not sure why, so it's actually quite a profitable profitable place. Once you hit level 60, we are going back into the cave, unfortunately. I know you missed those black dragons as much as I did. Equip your flame spear. And this gray, these uh, different shaded puddles are Kraken. Coming to the secret room right here, there is a large source of fish here and from 60 to 70 you will be here yes you will be here for a very long time have fun i know i didn't it sucked but it's what you gotta do the good part is once you hit level 70 you will be in the best fishing area in the game at the moment this video is being posted but to get there, you need to be a high level, naturally. They're level 70 fish, you got, there has to be some requirements because you need to get the dino orb. In order to get the dino orb, you need to go to the desert. To get to the desert, you just need to complete a very simple quest. I will show you when we get there. Oops, wrong way already, wonderful. We need to go to Loto Island. If you already have the Dino Orb, you obviously don't need to see how to get it. You could just fast forward in the video. Loto Island. Go all the way to the west. To the desert panel. Make sure you have your orb with you. If you did not have the orb, just uh, open the chest that's right next to the portal. And complete what it says. It's really simple. I can't remember what it is, but I remember it being very simple. Go in here. You're in a desert. These guys are aggressive. They will manhandle you if you let them. Fall in one of these holes. Either one's fine. Um, so you have to fight a high level boss. I can't solo it. So 
I recommend having a group of friends. Uh, your best armor, your best food, best everything. And he's down here. Uh, these guys are not going to let me go down there. I'll show you what he looks like. He is called the Dino Mage. He's a level 140. He is very strong. There he is. Um, he drops the Dino Orb. This thing right here. 1 in 10 chance. So, 10% chance for him to drop it. It's not that bad. You could get lucky and get him the first try. Or you, maybe not. Oh my goodness. Ah, ah. Okay, we're good. Um, get your Dino Orb. Actually, let's just teleport out of here. If you have your RAC teleport, very handy. Once we get the orb, we are going to go back to Lily Island. Bring your Lily Orb and Dino Orb. And to get to Dino Island, this is this is it. Have your Dino Orb, hop on the teleporter, and welcome to the land of dinosaurs. We're gonna go south. <clears throat> and then southeast. Some of these dinosaurs are aggressive and they will destroy you. There is no hope for you if you get hit by them. And all this, oh yes, access to the greatest fishing area in the game at the moment. Look at all this. So level 70, you use your fishing rod. If you have your glowing fishing rod, use it. 70 to 80, you fish the crazy floppers. They are these right here, those, those. Once you hit level 80, you will use your frozen spear. And these are the best fish in the game right now. Um, enjoy. That's it. I hope you liked the video. And I will see you later. Bye.